So you open Google Chrome on your phone. You're rushing to buy tickets to a concert that all your friends are going to. Picture yourself now. Crowd surfing to the front, being invited onto the stage, backstage the world tour, and before you know it, you're dancing in Tokyo. Wait, what? Three tickets left? It's a good thing your saved payment details autofill quickly and securely. There's no place like Chrome. Download Google Chrome on your phone. Now is the chance to use reliable energy to grow your money with the Dominion Energy Reliability Investment. Our new investment product offers competitive returns, no maintenance fees, and flexible online access to your money. Make the reliable investment in reliable energy. The Dominion Energy Reliability Investment. To find out more, go online to reliabilityinvestment.com. That's reliabilityinvestment.com. This is Optimal Health Daily, Episode 2114, Breakfast and Lunch, Food for Thought, by Nancy Clark of nancyclarkrd.com. And I'm Dr. Neil, your host and narrator. Thank you so much for joining today and every day. This is the podcast that brings you some of the world's best content covering fitness, diet, and nutrition seven days a week, even holidays. Now, today is Wednesday, and like I do every Wednesday, I like to share a little bit of inspiration with you. So here we go. Quote, always make new mistakes. Esther Dyson. All right, and with that, let's get right to another article and start optimizing your life. Breakfast and Lunch, Food for Thought by Nancy Clark of nancyclarkrd.com. Enjoyment of food should be one of life's pleasures. Unfortunately, I counsel too many athletes who scrutinize food and talk about eating nutrients like protein, carbs, and fat. They put a lot of energy into counting these macros, their calories, and grams of sugar. Some find meals and snacks to be sources of anxiety, not enjoyment. Way too many athletes and fitness exercisers consider breakfast and lunch to be somewhat optional. The goal of this article is to share food for thought about these two important meals of the day and help you fuel your body adequately, enjoyably, and effectively for your sports active lifestyle. Breakfast thoughts. One, weight conscious athletes. Please don't even try to restrict calories at breakfast or lunch. You need energy during the active part of your day to refuel from your morning workout or fuel up for your afternoon session. Your best bet is to fuel well by day, eat a lighter dinner, and lose weight at night when you're sleeping. As one dieter reported, quote, I lost weight easily when I ate dinner for breakfast and breakfast for dinner, end quote. Maybe give that a try. Two, remember when orange juice was a standard part of breakfast? Today, many athletes have stopped drinking orange juice because it, quote, has too much sugar. That might be true for unfit people with bodies that metabolize sugar far differently than the bodies of athletes. But for athletes, OJ is okay. It's a quick, easy, and thirst-quenching form of fruit. The natural sugars in orange juice offer helpful fuel before or after a morning workout, while simultaneously providing a day's supply of vitamin C, plus potassium, folate, and other health-promoting nutrients. Ironically, the same athletes who shun orange juice often fail to take the time to eat a whole orange or other fruit instead. All 100% juices are an easy way to boost the intake of this important food group. Any form of fruit, juice, canned, dried, frozen, is better than no fruit. Three, many athletes take pride in cooking their steel-cut oats, believing they are far more nutrient-dense than good old-fashioned rolled oats. Both rolled and steel-cut oats have similar nutritional values. The difference is steel-cut oats are cut instead of softened and then rolled and take far more time to cook. Four, please don't try to stay away from peanut butter, believing it to be fattening. Rather, Enjoy peanut butter on toast and bagels or blended into smoothies or swirled into oatmeal. Peanut butter's fat is health protective, anti-inflammatory, and satiating. It's also slow to digest, which helps keep you feeling fed until lunch. Five, whole grain breakfast cereals that are enriched or fortified, as noted on the label, can be good sources of iron, which is needed to reduce your risk of developing iron deficiency anemia. 
athletes' diets can easily be low in iron if they do not include red meat or cook regularly in a cast iron skillet. Hence, iron-fortified cereals topped with fruit, for example, vitamin C to help absorb the iron, milk, dairy or soy for calcium and protein, and almonds for a bit more protein, offer an effective sports breakfast as well as sports snack. And six, almond milk on cereal or in your coffee is a nutritionally poor swap for dairy milk. Almond milk offers only two grams of low quality protein as compared to eight grams of high quality dairy protein. The protein in dairy milk is 80% casein and 20% whey, the stuff you get in protein powder. If you prefer plant-based milk, soy and pea milks are the best option for protein. Lunch thoughts. One, if you feel hungry an hour or two after lunch, you did not eat enough lunch. How much lunch is enough? By listening to your body's signals, you can intuitively eat the right amount. The key is to pay attention to why you stop eating at lunchtime. Do you stop eating because the food is gone, or you think you should, or you feel content and nicely satiated? The correct answer is the last one. You feel content and satiated. An adequate lunch will leave you feeling fed for three to four hours. You'll no longer crave afternoon sweets within an hour or two post-lunch. A hearty lunch helps curb 3 p.m. snack attacks and helps you arrive home at the end of the day with the energy to cook a decent meal. You will eventually eat the calories, so why hold off until you can no longer white-knuckle the hunger? Two, despite popular belief, sandwich bread is not fattening. Excess calories of any kind are fattening. You can even enjoy a bagel for breakfast and a sandwich for lunch without getting fat. Carb-rich bread will fuel your muscles far better than a carb-light lunchtime salad. Three, if you are among the athletes who eat a salad for lunch and then complain you're craving sweets and eating cookies an hour or two later, think again. While salads are a helpful way to boost your intake of veggies, you might be better off satiating your appetite with a peanut butter and jelly sandwich or a turkey cheese pesto sandwich made on a hearty bread. For veggies, simply munch on cherry tomatoes, baby carrots, and pepper strips, which is far easier than making a salad. Four, if you insist on eating a salad for lunch, make sure it is an athlete's meal that offers a hefty dose of starchy veggies like sweet potato, beets, and corn, as well as grains like farro, quinoa, pasta, and maybe a whole grain roll on the side. A bowl full of greens smothered with dressing will leave you with poorly fueled muscles. To put the need for carbohydrates into perspective, a 150-pound athlete who trains hard for one and a half to two hours a day should aim to consume three grams of carbs per pound of body weight per day, or about 450 grams of carbs in this case. That would mean 1,800 calories are coming from carbs each day, or about 500 to 600 calories from carbs at each meal. A big spinach salad comes nowhere near that. And five, even if you want to build muscle, don't overeat protein to the extent it displaces carbohydrates. Poorly fueled muscles won't be able to lift weights as well as when carb loaded. Think again before filling up on a high protein, low carb green salad with chicken breast and dressing for lunch. A sports diet should contain three times more calories from carbs than protein. Bottom line, please enjoy satisfying breakfasts and lunches that keep you feeling fed for three to four hours. You will feel happier, more energetic, have better workouts, be less ravenous at the end of the day, and be less likely to overeat the wrong food at night. You just listened to the post titled Breakfast and Lunch, Food for Thought by Nancy Clark of nancyclarkrd.com. Scott for Scots here. Ah, a good track can feed the soul. And while this might be music from the heavens, it's not gonna feed your lawn. If your yard needs some life, then you need Scott's Turf Builder. You just put it down once now, then again this summer to thicken your lawn and get it growing strong. Ooh, that's some lush lawn vibes right there. Get a bag of Scott's Turf Builder today. It's guaranteed or your money back. Feed your lawn, feed it. Elevate your next brunch with help from Whole Foods Market. Everything you need with the quality you want. 
Like crispy organic pork bacon, plant-based entrees and beautiful source for good flowers that support worker communities. Get festive with Whole Food Market's selection of adult beverages, from sparkling wines to buzzless beers. And Prime members can take advantage of daily deals on bakery and prepared foods favorites perfect for brunch. Make brunch happen at Whole Foods Market. Terms apply. Dr. Neil here for my commentary. I really appreciated Nancy's advice about remembering the importance of carbohydrates when fueling the body. Nancy said that it can be easy to hyperfocus on protein, so much so that it can push other foods like carbs out of our meal plans. We're so obsessed with protein, we sort of forget about the carbs, or we're so full, we don't even eat them. So you know how I talk about how combining a variety of foods and nutrients seem to be best? Well, one of the best examples of this is the fact that when we eat carbohydrates together with protein-rich foods, we actually absorb that protein more efficiently. So we absorb that protein better. So when Nancy was describing what a nutritious and satisfying salad would look like, notice it had lots of goodies in it, like whole grains and starchy and non-starchy veggies. If you had a bit of protein with it, like topping it with nuts or seeds, it will likely make the salad that much more satisfying and nutrient dense. So don't be afraid to include carbohydrates with your protein. Remember, you'll absorb that protein much more efficiently when you combine the two. All right, that'll do it for another edition of Optimal Health Daily. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you have a great rest of your day and be sure to tune in again tomorrow where I'll have another post for you and where your optimal life awaits.